Hello everybody. We just got up in a tree stand before we started recording here because as you all know there's definitely plenty of grizzly bears around this area. So we're out here on Timbergold Trails and we're after none other than a trophy mule deer buck. So first off I want to say thank you guys so much for all the really cool comments about the whole wall hanger series and everything and I really enjoy doing it and I'm glad that you guys like to watch it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So now we're going to try and kill a 200 inch mule deer buck. We're trying to kill like a 220 plus and I know they're out here but they're going to be kind of hard to find. So kind of our strategy is going to be we want to start hunting here and work our way all the way along to the uh, the Death Valley tree stand I call it and sort of swing around these trees here and hook around up all the way in through here and we'll try and hit all these spots here now 200 inch mule deer aren't that easy to find so we're definitely gonna have to hunt pretty hard but hopefully we get some luck and see what we can find we're gonna be using the camel pulser and we also have the reverse draw crossbow in case we're probably gonna see some grizzly bears and if we see any big grizzly bear we're probably gonna take them out with the reverse draw crossbow and same thing with wolves we also have the 223 rifle with us so if we see a big wolf far away and he doesn't want to come into a call then we'll probably just use that and take him out with that now we have the out call and we have the uh, wolf call but we're not going to be calling so that way we don't get any attraction to them but if we happen to see a big bull off in the distance we're definitely going to call him in and you know take him out and probably mount him but we're going to try not to and we're going to mostly focus on trying to find a 200 plus mule deer. Alright guys, so we're headed to the Death Valley stand right now. And we just got two bull calls here. One straight in front of us and one off to the left of us here. So I'm kind of trying to contradict myself on what we should do here. As far as which direction to take. Well, that answers it. Got a bull coming in, and he's not very big. So we're going to continue on, and hopefully the other one's bigger. If he spooks back that way, it's fine. Not really worried. Because the other bigger, well, I don't know if it's big or not, but the other one is definitely in this direction here. And we could shoot this one, but it's not really worth it. I think we'll jump up on this rock. And right there he is. This one's a pretty good one. This one's going to be a 360 plus right here. 250. Now he's not quite as big as I thought. He's not a bad one. I think we're going to take him out. He's about 40 meters away. And he's down. Did this one get stuck? He didn't even run. Huh. He sort of ran, but then he stopped. Alright. Well, we killed the bull. And we're not going to mount him. But it is pretty cool. Because this hunt, we're not really looking for Rocky Mountain Elk. But if we do find a trophy, we're definitely going to mount it. For sure. So, I think this one's going to be like a 335. And we heart shot him at 33 meters. Scores 333.4. So not bad. But not even close to a mounter. Alright guys, so we just got up in the stand here. And we have a pretty good sized black wolf coming in. And I think that will be a pretty cool mount. So I think we're going to take him out. And he's down. And quite a bit of other wolves. There was actually a pack of wolves here. So if he scores pretty decent, we might get him mounted. And maybe he just looked black because it's dark out. Yeah. He's not he's not fully black. He's he's one of those three quarter black ones. The bottom of is pretty white. But we'll see what he scores. And I had a feeling there were some more wolves in the area. We got another one coming in right now. 
And this is a young female. So you might as well take her out. And she's down. Yeah, there was a ton of tracks here, and I wasn't sure if it was elk or wolf tracks. But now I definitely know it was wolves. So let's hop down here and take a look at this wolf. And he's not a bad one. Definitely not a bad one. And we might take a trophy shot of him. But he's not quite a mounter to me. It's going to be pretty hard to see him in the dark like this. That's a pretty cool picture though. You know, we might get him mounted just for now. And if we get a bigger one, we can always put him up instead. But for now, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because I was just thinking, the 50 coyote that we shot, it's about the same as a 15.6 wolf as far as size-wise. So let's pick up this female. We hit her in the lung and heart and spine. 14.6. So pretty good size female. All right, well, we're going to continue on now and hopefully we find some bucks. All right, guys, so we just got up into our third stand now, and we're basically starting the hook for the mule deer part. And we have a couple of young bucks coming in right now, a really young one here. And there's like a one. F oh, look at that. Where did he come from? That's a good buck right there. That's 180 plus. That is a good buck. I didn't even see him. Might be 190s. We got a 170 to 195 estimate on him. And I did not see him. I did see this one here. This was the 160s that I saw. Actually, no. I saw this one here. There's bucks all over the place. So... Yeah, we're definitely going to take out this big one here. And hopefully we see a bigger one eventually. But for now, this one's definitely a pretty good sized muley buck. Oh no, there's two bucks underneath us. But we'll be able to take out this buck here. The doe coming in from this up. Another buck? Another 180s, 190s buck just came underneath us, guys. Look at this. Okay, we have a 170 plus right here. And over here, this buck just walked in. And this is a 180s buck also. Never even grunted or anything. He just came walking in. Look at all these bucks. What's that now? That's that 150s, 160s buck. So basically what we have here is we have two we have two 180s bucks underneath us right now and not really sure which one's bigger. So I think at this point we're just going to draw back on one and take one out. Uh, I think I want the other one. That one right there. So this one has a higher score estimate, and he looks a little bit thicker than this one, but this one doesn't have much for deductions on him. I don't see any short tines on him. So hard to tell. Yeah, he doesn't have... This one definitely has a short back tine on one side. Look at this. I don't think I've seen this many bucks underneath me in a long time. But either way, we're definitely going to have to decide to take one of them out here pretty soon. Is this the one? Now he has a deduction too. He's got a short back tine there. So I guess we're going to take out the one with the highest score here. And he's down. 
So we got ourselves a pretty good book. Look at them all take off. All right, well, I think every buck in the area was here, but we didn't see any 200 plus. So let's hop down and take a look at this buck. He could be a 190s. He definitely could be. Let's take a look at him and see what he scores. And he scores 181.1. So we'll probably take a trophy shot of him. I'm not sure if we're going to mount him or not. We might. I hope we can find a bigger one. But for now, we might get this one mounted. Just because we need a we need a good muley buck on the wall. So, yeah, for now, I think we might get this one mounted. Look at all the tracks. Alright, so now we're going to head over to the fourth stand. Alright guys, so we just got to the next stand. And not much action, but we do have another wolf coming in, and it's black. So let's see what size it is. It's going to be a young wolf. Young male. Yeah, I think it's by itself. But we'll take it out. And it's down. So, so far this side hasn't been producing very much uh, mule deer bucks. We're sort of down here on the south, uh, the southeast end, I guess. Just dead south, basically. And right here is where all the all the bucks were before. But I'm hoping that this next spot here will have some bucks. So let's hop down and grab this wolf, and then let's head over to the next stand. We heart shot him, and he scores 15.0. So he's basically the exact same thing we just shot before. Not quite as big. Alright guys, so we're just heading to the next stand right now. And we just got a buck grunt. So we're going to put out a call. And we have some mule deer sent with us. So we're going to put some spray right here on this rock. And hopefully the buck comes right to this rock right here. And maybe he'll actually stand up on top of it. That would be pretty cool if we could take a shot. So we're going to do a couple of grunts. Then we're going to hop back up in the stand. Alright guys, so we just got in the stand now, and we can hear something walking around, but can't quite see it yet. He looks like a 120s type buck. Yeah, he's not a not a very big one or, at all. Alright, so here he comes. Right to the scent. Worked out pretty good. We have another one that just came in, and another one right there too. So we have a bunch of scrub bucks here. And the, oh wow, that's a big sucker. Where did he come from? That is a big buck. 190 minimum score on him. That might be our trophy muley right there. In fact, that's definitely going to be on the wall. Now we're going to get the recurve out. And hopefully we can get a good shot. So he stopped right on top of that rock. We're going to draw back and hold right for the heart. Perfect shot. He went right down. And all the other bucks just took off. Wow, there's quite a bit of bucks around here. So let's hop down and take a look at him. Let's see what he scores. Alright, so he had a minimum of 190 to 225, I believe. So let's see what he scores. He scores 194.5, and we hit him in the shoulder blade, lung, and heart. So it was a perfect shot. That's definitely take a nice trophy shot of him, and we're going to get him mounted. Holy, there's actually a buck in the background right here. Another big buck. That's a 180 inch buck in the back right there. So we're going to have to try and get the recurve out really quick after we take this trophy shot. He's actually going to be in it. That's a pretty cool picture. Yeah, that's a really cool picture. But anyways, we need to take a picture as fast as we can, get him mounted, bust out the recurve, and try and take out this big buck. He's 20 meters away, and we just dropped him. Perfect shot.
All right, guys. Well, that worked out pretty good. We couldn't find any big muley bucks for quite some time, and now we just killed two of them in a matter of about 10 minutes. So let's see what this one scores. He scores 175.0, but wait. If you look on his left side, he has about a six inch drop time. And to me, I think that is really cool. It's actually more unique versus a regular typical buck. And it is a typical, but with the drop time, it's almost like it's considered a non-typical. And I think that's gonna look sweet on the wall. So we're definitely gonna choose him to get mounted for sure. All right guys, well, as we were taking a trophy shot of that buck, we got another buck grunt. So we're gonna give him a call and hop back in the stand here and we'll see what it is. All right, so we're just getting in the stand right now and here comes a young buck. He looks to be like a 120s. But we might as well take him out and then we'll probably move on to the next spot. So he's definitely just drilled. I don't know how he ran away from that, but we for sure hit the lungs. And we found him dead, so let's pick him up. He scores 124. All right, let's go to the next stand. All right, guys, so we just got in the next stand here, and we got a pretty good buck coming right to us. He looks to be like a 180s, 190s. I don't think he's going to be 200s because that's the max score on him. But he's definitely going to be close to 200s. So let's take him out with the camel pulser. All right, there he is, pretty broadside. We're going to draw back and put it right for the spine and lungs. And he's down, perfect shot. Well, we have another doe coming in here too, so we might as well take her out as well. She stopped there at about 35 meters away. So let's take her out. She's down too. All right, so we got ourselves another buck. Let's hop down here and take a look at him. So here he is, and let's see what he scores. He scores 193.4, and we hit him in the spine, shoulder weight, and heart. So, perfect shot on him. But, he is a little bit bigger than the 175 scoring buck that we shot. Well, actually, quite a bit. But, like I said before, we're going to choose to mount the 175.1 over this one because he does have a really cool drop time, and I think that'll look really cool on the wall. So, we will take a trophy shot of him because the 190 plus buck is definitely a nice buck. Alright guys, so we're heading to the next stand now, and we just spotted a grizzly bear stopped here at about 45 meters away. Didn't really have time to range them, and these bears are pretty much like lightning. You have to shoot probably like two or three feet in front of them, or you're not even going to come close. They basically can dodge bullets in this game, it seems like. And anyways, we completely missed them. Not even close. So, we went over and decided to track them, because the spotting info on them was... 21 to 27, but the weight estimate I believe was 290 to 350 and I think anything over like 320s 330s for a bear is going to be a pretty good sized grizzly bear So we decided to track him down and try and get another shot Well after tracking him for quite some ways we actually ran out of tracks But we could hear him growling so I knew the direction he was at the problem is now is he kept growling like he was going to attack, so we pull out the reverse draw crossbow. I happen to have one tracer arrow in it, and I'm hoping that he kind of calms down and maybe stands up and gives us a shot, but it doesn't seem like he wants to calm down. So he's literally seconds from charging us, and we didn't even have time to even range him or anything. Just held for about 40, 45 meters and pulled the trigger. And I think we hit pretty good because we were pretty high up in the air. And we're shooting down, so we probably hit maybe intestines or lung. And that's some lung blood right there. So we got ourselves a big grizzly bear hit. Now we're just going to give him a little time, and we'll go track him down. Alright, so we gave our bear about 15 minutes, and we found him dead right here. So let's go pick him up and see if he scores. He scores 25.1, and we hit him in the shoulder blade, lung, intestine, and stomach. So he was definitely hit pretty hard, but he actually ran quite a ways. And I'm pretty happy about him because I kind of wanted to get a 25 plus grizzly bear for a little bit of time now. So we could get him mounted and see what he looked like. And we finally found one and actually he kind of found us. Because we were hunting for him, but it was kind of funny because he actually was hunting for us at the same time. But we ended up killing him and that was pretty cool.
Well guys, we hunted pretty hard for a 200 plus muley, but we didn't find any. They were pretty hard to find. But we did get a 194 inch, and we got a 175 drop time muley. So let's go take a look at our kills. Alright guys, we just got back to our trophy lodge. And here we have our two muley bucks. The one on the left here is actually the coolest one in my opinion. He scores 175, but he has a drop time. About like a 4 or 5 inch drop time, so a pretty good drop time there on, on his uh, left side. And... The one on the right is the biggest one we shot. He scores 194.5, and that's definitely a pretty good sized muley. He's not quite 200 plus, but pretty close. And right here is our wolf that we shot. This is a 15.6 male wolf that we shot, and he looks really nice too. Now there is wolves that are actually pure black, but this one has a little bit of white on him. But he's still pretty black for the most part, and he's a decent sized male. And over here is the bear that actually tried to kill us. This is a 25.1 score grizzly bear. And the only reason we actually shot him is because he was actually trying to kill us. So we took a shot with the reverse draw and we made a pretty good shot. And he went down. So it actually worked out pretty good. Because in my opinion I would consider a 25 plus grizzly bear definitely a shooter or a trophy class grizzly bear. So that worked out pretty cool. He looks really big. He actually looks... The same size as the brown bear that we shot before. Might end up moving the brown bear um, to this side and maybe switching the grizzly back over there in the front. But for now, we'll just keep it how it is. Alright guys, well I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.